is one thing you need to do before the final install, and that is drilling a hole in this perfectly good PVC pipe, which does not sound intuitive and something you wouldn't want to do because once the pump goes, you're going to have a big old leak coming out the side. That is true, but without that hole, you might get into a scenario called airlock. So this hole is called a weep hole or a vent hole, and there actually is one already installed in this cast iron base, which helps to prevent airlock, but that hole can get plugged over time. So having an additional hole pointing down on this discharge pipe will help you avoid airlock in the future. Since this is a bottom feed pump, the water comes up under, you can get a pocket of air caught between the check valve and the bottom of the impellers. So what that does is it puts the impellers in an air pocket and thus locking out your pump from actually pushing water. So without the impeller being able to grab the water, it can't push the water up through your discharge pipe. It's just gonna spin in air and do nothing. This is a very common principle in any sort of pump. And that's why often if you're dealing with pumps, sometimes you need to prime the pump. You need to get hydraulic fluid or water or whatever that fluid is into the pump so the pump can actually start working because it's completely ineffective if the impeller is in air. So the positioning of this weep pole is not exact. I'll go ahead and thread in my discharge pipe and the critical thing you want to do is you're just putting it in the pipe between that check valve and the housing itself so you're going to use a 1 8 of an inch drill bit so then you'll get the drill bit started but once it's started you want to make sure you angle your drill bit so the hole is actually pointing down so when the water shoots out it's going to shoot down into the pit not up out of the pit And that is all there is to installing your weep hole. And again, that is critical to the operation of your sump pump. Now that Zoller M98 has been running at my house for years and years, and I highly recommend that. You'll see a link in the description to that exact pump. And for some reason, it's kind of hard to find at the big box store. So often you do need to buy it online. Now, if you need more help with the installation and a real complete start to finish, check out this video right here. I'll walk you through every aspect of that, including drilling that weep hole so you don't miss that critical part of the overall project. So thanks for joining me on this video, and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.